This is thermite. It's a powdered mixture of iron oxide and aluminium, which when ignited burns at two and a half thousand degrees Celsius, which is very, very hot. This is liquid nitrogen. It's specially stored at minus 198 degrees Celsius. That's 163 degrees colder than the North Pole in winter. But is it cold enough to neutralize the intense heat of thermite? Packed into the slow release mechanism of a garden flower pot, the thermite is ready for action. Just light the touch paper and stand well back. The fuse triggers the irreversible thermite reaction. As scorching hot meets freezing cold, a fierce battle rages. The smoke clears and incredibly, nothing remains. As the thermite burns at two and a half thousand degrees, it releases a raging torrent of molten iron, which rains down upon the liquid nitrogen, boiling the glacial mixture away in a plume of vapor and melting the cylinder, leaving just a puddle of white hot iron. A clear victory for thermite. So there you go, Dan. Adding something cold to thermite doesn't cancel it out. It just makes it angry.